How's it everybody, Celtic Link here, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video we're going to be showcasing the free-to-play Team Bardock Squad on Raditz's 200% leader skill for Pure Sands and Space Traveling Warriors. This is one of those showcases that I've been waiting for. I fully easy aid these guys back a couple celebrations ago and max linked them. I have been waiting to do this, so let's go ahead and jump on in. Yeah, like most people, uh, the Bardock Squad was probably my first uh, set of units that I grinded out, right, to help me finish the a lot of the events to awaken my units. So, like, I kind of feel like I owe this due diligence to this team to show them at sort of their max potential on a 200% leader skill team. So, we're actually going to float off the Torah because I... I want to try to have Shugesh and Tora on separate rotations for the for their stacking. So each rotation has a little bit of stacking going on. So I'm going to take a minute to get our rotation set up because everybody's kind of all over the place. But the ba basic game plan is have Shugesh and Bardock on one rotation and Tora and Borgos on the other. And float the Radishes and the Radishes. Ha ha ha. Uh, the Radishes and the Fascia. Um, that's the basic game plan for this run. And of course our int type is the one to, or our tech type is the one to take the int super. Alright, so let's send off Bardock here. Um, actually, let's put Raditz here. Let him take that. Um, pick that up. And let's see, how are we looking here? So defensively, not that great, but Bardock does have damage reduction, but we'll probably take out Vegeta here before we even get to Bardock, honestly. Yeah, there it is. Alright, good job, Raditz. The best you've ever looked <laughs> against the beginning of the Vegeta event. Alright, so now I guess we'll put Fasha here. We'll pick up those with her. And actually, I'm going to avoid same type orbs if I can, just so we don't build the Dokkan gauge too quickly. Because with this team, I think it'll definitely help if we can save the Dokkan uh, attack for later on. Alright, so looking good so far. Putting out a little bit of damage. Shugesh does take the super. But after two stacks, he's good enough to tank it. Very nice. Alright, Raditz not even scratching a million there. Alright, so the friend is 55% just like ours, but links aren't anywhere near close to what ours are. So let's pick that up. Um, like I said, we're going to avoid same type orbs if we can. Let's just pick that up. So with Tora on rotation now, he's going to start stacking. He's got to do a bit of catching up, so I hope we can pick up some additionals with him. We do get the additional normal here, um, but he does need to catch up. And, of course, he takes a super attack again. Alright, but at least he's built up enough now that not that big of a deal. Alright, Borgos finishes off with the 2.7 million crit. Very nice. On to the tech phase here. Alright, so... We're going to put Shugesh in front, Bardock in the middle, and we'll send off Fasha. Let's do that. Okay, and we want to try to get... Yeah, let's take the two orbs, because that'll increase Bardock's crit chance. And we'll pick up that with the Fasha. Alright, 3.8 million for the Bardock. We get the crit for 3 million. No additional, though, unfortunately. That would have been nice. Another 3 million crit additional. Alright, nice. Fasha picks up the additional normal. We get the dodge, nice. Which now means now she's got her defense. So, yeah. A little bit on the defense lower, but she's still dodging yeah, this early on. So, not that big of a deal. So, I am going to pick up the tech spheres here with... Uh, Tora, just to get a little bit of a heal back, and then we'll avoid same type with everyone else. So, defensively, uh, Tora's still a little behind, where he haven't quite broken 2,000 yet, uh, but Borgos' attack is looking pretty nice. I'll take that for him. 
Alright, so Tora's going to take a while to build up his attack as well, right? We're still early on. Alright, nice! We pick up the additional with Borgos. Uh, I think it's mostly because we can still lower defense here, that's why. Alright, on to the STR phase. So, I'm going to put Bardock in the middle because I don't want my... Fizz type to be taking uh, that many STR attacks. That would be bad, right? And then we'll send off Raditz here. Hopefully Raditz doesn't take the STR super. Otherwise, it's going to hurt. Alright, not, not much damage coming out of Shugash. Alright, so Bardock. Let's if No crit. Alright, he's taking the super, which is good because he's getting his damage reduction. Very nice, that's what you want to see. Which means Raditz should be fine here. Yeah, good. Alright, let's send off the Fasha and let's actually do this number. Alright, so how are these guys look in? Alright, so we've finally broken 200k with the Tora on the defense, so hopefully we can start picking up here soon. I would really like to get some additionals with him so we can catch his defense up because these guys need at least 500k defense uh, pre-super to be in slot 1 for the final phase, right? Um, well, at least our AGL enemy is the one to take the super attack, right? Although he doesn't raise except on supers, so we don't want him taking super attacks, right? Okay, good, good, good. Making progress here. Alright, let's do that number. Let's pick up the... Oh, Alright, so we got the two key spheres. Hopefully that's enough to... Uh, Get at least one crit out of the Bardock here. Trugesh is uh, up to 280k on his defense now. Um, no additional though. I think that if we get the crit here with Bardock, that should be enough to take out the STR phase. Ooh, no crit. Alright, so... Raditz, can you do this little sliver of health here? Or is that going to be too much to ask from you? 3.5 million. Let's see. Can he even do that much? Just barely, I feel like. Okay, nice. Alright, so this one's going to be tough, because I don't feel like our... Well, 200k, as long as it's not a super, actually should be fine. So let's... We're going to risk it, because um, I don't want to put Borgos in front. That would be bad, right? Yeah, okay... Oh, there it is. Of course. I, I, I knew it had to be, right? Oof. Okay, but everyone else post-supers got enough defense that we should make it to the turn. And Shugesh will get the uh, Dokkan attack for us. So, we'll heal up that damage knight pretty nicely. I was hoping to save the Dokkan attack for the next phase, but, I mean, now I'm kind of glad we started building it up because now we need it. I'm almost thinking we should have just put Raditz up front. But I don't think he would have taken this super much well either. Alright, so let's do that number. Let's pick up that with the Shugash. Let's pick up that with the Bardock. And let's see. How are we looking defensively here? Okay, yeah. We are golden here plus all that extra orbs and heal that we're getting from everybody on this rotation we are safe oh man why did that pick up so quickly <laughs> i was not expecting that now i don't know if shugesh can actually do enough damage here to take him out even with the dokkan attack but we should get pretty close that we should be able to take him out with the rest of the rotation okay i lied maybe not Especially since we didn't pick up that crit. Bardock, it's up to you. Nice, there goes the crit. 
Alright, and he dodges Fasha's attack, but Fasha gets her dodges in, which means now she's defensive. Oof. Oh, nice. We get the dodge on the super attack. Great. Okay. There's no way he super attacks me twice in a row, right? Let's start building. There's this... There's no way he super attacks slot one twice in a row, right? No, okay, we're good. Not a whole lot of damage there, so hopefully these guys can pick up some crits and uh, finish this int phase off for us. Taking a little bit longer than I want it to. All right, Raditz. Hey, you almost broke four million there. Be careful. All right, nice. We get the crit with Raditz. That's surprising. All right, so I actually think... Well, he's got 400k. Um, it's probably better to put Raditz up front. Or, I'm sorry, Bardock up front since he does have... The damage reduction, right? And yeah, two over 200k with the damage reduction. Yeah, we're totally good here with putting Bardock up front. And then with those rainbow orbs, hopefully that's enough to give us a little extra on the crit there. We got 4.4 million here with him. Nice, we pick up the crit. And Bardock's taking a super, but with the damage reduction and his super attack, we should be good. Oh yeah, triple digits, I'll take that. Ooh, he dodged Shugesh. We can't have him dodging, right? That's gonna be like the worst thing that can happen for us is if he dodges. All right, let's send off Fasha here. Pick up that. Um, let's pick up the orbs here. And how are we looking defensively? So we're breaking 300k now, so we're slowly catching up. Um, but we definitely need to make sure that Aura gets to at least 500 by the time we get to the AGL phase. Otherwise, he's hurting. And with this extra additional right here, that should help, actually. And he gets the crit. Nice. Now, Borgos, can you do the same? 3.5 million. No, no additional, no crit. All right, you, you, you're hurting me, Borgos. You're supposed to be our damage dealer. All right, Fasha gets the dodge, very nice. All right, really, she just needs that one dodge and then she's defensive. All right, let's pick up that. Pick up that with the Shugash. And let's send off Raditz with that. So, we should be looking pretty good here. Um, we're taking double digits with the Bardock. And as long as Shugash can get that other stack, he should be fine moving into the next phase. I think what we're really going to be worried about is the Raditzes and the Fasha, since the Fasha can no longer dodge once we get to the next phase. Alright, Shugash, can you pick up an extra attack for me here? No. Okay. Alright, 3.5 million from the Raditz here. Not bad. No crit. Alright, how are we looking here? Alright, almost there. We got 360k on the Torah. Not bad. So, like you, like you can see, I'm kind of trying to focus down those same type orbs, so that way we can get that Dokkan attack, because if we can get that Dokkan attack, it'll be helpful during the final phases. Especially if we can get Tora to get it, since he's type advantage. Alright, nice. So, Borgos takes out this, and we have entered the AGL phase. Not bad. This has been going pretty smoothly for this free-to-play team. Alright, so I think we're going to go ahead and pop a Whis here since Fasha can't dodge. She'll probably take a bit of damage here. 
I'm gonna pick all this up with the STR Bardock in case he's the one to take the super. With those extra orbs, we should be able to get a good chance of getting a crit here. So let's see how this turn goes. So the turn I use a Whis, he decides not to super slot one. But there it is against the Shugash. So honestly, probably better him than anyone else to take this. Since he is the most defensive because he's been stacking the whole time. So Bardock's really going to have to pick up those crits if he wants to put in damage. Which he does. Very nice. All right, awesome. Fasha picking up the additional. All that little extra damage is very helpful to us. All right, we have Raditz on rotation here. Let's go ahead and use his active skill. That all, huh? Is it my turn now? Time to show you what real power looks like. It's such a shame that it's such a shame that such a bad unit has that uh, awesome active skill. I actually really like his active skill. All right, we do have the Weiss active, so we're gonna pick up these. Um, we'll keep Tora in front. How's his defense looking here? All right, so not quite where we want it, but I mean, we're here, so. With the Whis active though, we should be fine. And, I mean, at least Tora takes the super. Again, on this rotation, he's probably the best person to take it. But the defense lowering is not good, right? We can't have defense lowering in this phase, especially with a free-to-play team, you know? Alright, Borgos, can you get the crit for us? There it is, very nice. No additional though. Wow. Ultimate damage, huh? You're supposed to have your attack raised this turn. What's going on here? Ooh, that is just... Well, sad, quite frankly. Alrighty, so... I guess we'll use... Rat this Raditz's active skill, too? That all, huh? Is it my turn now? Time to show you what real power looks like. You're dead! Wow, that is uh pathetic. <laughs> okay, how is Shugesh looking? Pretty good. My only concern here is Bardock, honestly. I'm worried that even with the damage reduction and the super, if, I'm just going to use the Whis. Right, because if there's a super there and Bardock takes it, it, we're finished. I think even with his damage reduction. Alright, you got to remember, we're dealing with free-to-play teams, so free-to-play stats here. Nice, we get the crit. We get an additional normal. Alright, surprisingly, no super attack. 3.6 million from our Raditz, though. That's nice. And we get the crit. Nice. Oh, wow, I'm actually surprised. No super attack this turn. Right. Let's see here. 300k. That super did a number on us. Um... But, we do have a Whis active, so we should be pretty safe. Let's pick up that. Alright, and hopefully with the Whis and... Well, Fasha can't dodge, so she's not going to get her extra defense, so... We're relying on her super attack defense and the Whis to protect her. We do still have the Princess Six if we need it, but I don't think we will. I'm pretty sure we're going to get the Dokkan attack next turn.
Oh, Fasha takes the super. But we do have the Whis. She did super attack. Still taking 200k. Wow. Alright, so we're gonna put Shugesh in front here. And do this number. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's give Bardock the honor of doing the finishing blow here. I feel like we should do enough damage here with the Dokkan attack to finish him off. And so, you know, this serious. is Bardock's team. Let's give him the honors. All right, let's pick that up. Boom, 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 boom. Excellent. Gonna go all out. And there it is. Finishing blow with the STR Bardock. So there you have it, guys. There is the 200% showcase for the... Team Bardock, the free-to-play team. I gotta say that um, I'm kind of impressed with the numbers they're putting out. I think once we get an actual 200% leader for lo maybe low-class warriors, maybe a, a new Bardock, maybe a, I don't know if it'll be Super Saiyan, but we, basically once Bardock team gets the Ginyu Force treatment, we'll see some a lot better numbers coming out of this team. But even on Raditz's team, Pure Sand Space Traveling Warrior, they're still looking pretty good. And I, like I said, I've been waiting for this and I am impressed. So if you guys are just as impressed as I am with this team, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And in the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on the free-to-play team Bardock now that they have access to the 200% leader skill. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and aloha.